Hey everyone, another week and I'm just tempted to say another weapon, but this one is a bit more than your ordinary weapon. The reward for this week is the Tromponcino M28. You may not be familiar with the name, but you might be familiar with the weapon itself. It's a variant of the Carcano M91 from Battlefield 1, modified with an underbarrel grenade launcher. The bolt action carbine is for the medic class, which will give it explosive capabilities and even further range. The weapon itself was intended to be used for light, indirect fire support without having the lengthy setup time of a dedicated mortar. However, the M28 had many flaws and was considered to be impractical due to its size and weight. They were expensive and time consuming to make leading to the weapon being retired in 1943 after having served 6 years in the Italian army. This week's assignment tree can be entirely done in combined arms, but I decided to stick to multiplayer and the mid lower path is the route I ended up taking. It's probably the quickest way of completing the assignment tree because for some reason the points you get from playing combined arms isn't enough even with a dedicated squad. So it's probably best if you avoid doing the first assignment in there but the rest should be fine. Alternatively, you can wait and purchase the M28 with company coin in a week's time but there have been some delays with previous weapons so it might be worth getting it now if you can. The M28 has a 6 round magazine and fires at 88 rounds per minute. You won't be able to upgrade the magazine capacity but you can increase the rate of fire through the specialization tree. So there is some flexibility there to alter the weapon's behavior which is always good to know. Speaking of specializations, let's have a look at the upgrade options and the sites available. You get the option of three different sites, a latey sight, a 2x scope and a 3x scope. That's no different to the commando carbine so I went for the 3x scope mainly to fulfill its long range potential. Anything less and you may be limiting its range so use the lesser magnifications or iron sights for those smaller maps. Another feature that it shares with the commando carbine is the straight pull mechanism. That will allow it to shoot round after round without having to re-ADS regardless of the scope attached. The specialization path I decided to take is quick aim to reduce the ADS delay of a scope, quick reload because 6 rounds will leave you reloading quite often, improved hip fire because why not it's fixed to my second pick and faster cycling of the bolt which increases the rate of fire up to 100 rounds per minute. Also worth mentioning is the improved grenade specialization on the bottom right hand corner. It's a new perk that increases the grenade damage against vehicles but in turn reduces the blast damage and radius. I've tried it out and it seems to be bugged at the moment so you don't get any hit markers or any indication of damage so I can't really give you my opinion on its effectiveness or whether it's even worth picking. The basic launcher does work though and it seems to perform a lot worse than the standard rifle grenade. You'll need 2-3 hits against infantry and about 6-8 hits against tanks depending on the part you strike. With a limit of 2 grenades, 3 if you resupply at a station, it's not very lethal and more of a tactical addition for destroying buildings and stuff. Moving on to the stats, the M28 has an initial vertical recoil of 2.0 and no horizontal recoil. That's less than any other sniper but slightly more than the commando carbine. That makes it a bit less controllable when firing at the maximum rate of fire as the crosshair won't return to the center as quickly. The time it takes to reload when empty and with bullets remaining is 2.8 seconds, so reloading tactically isn't necessary to get the fastest reload speed. That's still slower than the commando carbine but the M28 has the luxury of quick reload in its specialization tree. When upgraded it reloads faster than any other sniper rifle, carbine and SLR except for the M95 and the quick reload RSC. It has a bullet velocity of 500 meters per second which is 100 more than the commando carbine and identical to the Lee Enfield. So if you're used to the bullet drop off the Enfield then you'll feel right at home with the M28. My only concern is that it may encourage medics to snipe from the back of the map rather than its intended range. We'll just have to wait and see on that. According to the files the maximum damage dealt by the M28 is 56, 55.5 from 50 meters, 50 from 75 meters and drops off to a minimum damage of 40 from 100 meters onwards. So how many bullets do you need to finish off an opponent? Up to 75 meters you'll need 2 body shots or 1 headshot and anything past that will require 3 body shots or 2 headshots. So you'll never have to land more than 3 bullets which is surprisingly good for a carbine when you compare it to the recently added commando carbine. As you can tell the low damage drop off over distance makes it really effective at range and almost slips into sniper territory. So in terms of raw TCK how good is the M28 compared to others? 
In the perfect setting, 1v1 full health and you land on the same body parts, the M28 has a better TTK than any other sniper rifle but only up to 75 meters. Whether you land a headshot or body shot doesn't matter as the same amount of bullets are needed for both weapon types. However, once you're past 75 meters, snipers will perform better as they keep their maximum one headshot and two body shot range. When compared to the two weakest SLRs, by that I mean the Model 8 and RSE, the M28 has a two hit KO advantage of 25 meters due to its high damage model. However, it fires half as fast so SLRs aren't completely made redundant and will still be all carbines 1v1 if it was body shots only. If you decide to aim for the head, then SLRs won't be able to one hit KO from any range, but carbines will be up to 75 meters. So there is a huge difference between the two and really accurate headshot precise players should be able to take advantage of that. When compared to the Commando Carbine, the M28 is surprisingly outperformed by it, up until 30 meters all because it has a slightly faster rate of fire. To be specific, 5 RPM more without upgrades and 9 RPM more with upgrades. Hardly a big difference and once you're past 30 meters, the M28 is far better in every single way. Taking everything into account, the M28 is one of the best, if not the best aggressive bolt action weapon the game has to offer. It's perfect for combat snipers and brings everything we expected to the table. Not only is it better than the Enfield up to 75 meters, there aren't any real downsides to using it. The transition from rifle to grenade launcher is smooth and doesn't take long to do so, and the quick reload time makes up for the small magazine size. The grenade launcher is probably the only disappointing part and perhaps could have been balanced a little bit better, maybe by increasing the capacity but I still wouldn't consider that a disadvantage. So, will I pick the M28 over the Commando Carbine? Yes, the better range, damage and the faster bullet speed makes it a lot more powerful and easier to use. The Commando Carbine does offer the option of stealth but that just isn't enough to get my pick. Will I pick the M28 over the Lee Enfield? Yes, in the end it all came down to the meta class. Being able to self heal, launch grenades while having access to smoke grenades and AP mines is just too good to overlook. Not to mention it performs better up to 75 meters with identical bullet speed. The Enfield does offer a larger magazine and performs better past 75 meters but there are other snipers that can do the job better from that distance. So let me know what you think of the new medic weapon and how you're getting on with it. Make sure to leave a rating and I'll see you later. Take care.